everyone let's discuss about stability in today's video okay so stability in the sense what so i'm talking about the stability condition in a single market okay in terms of valuation as well as the marshalin process so to begin with let's talk about equilibrium what is equilibrium market equilibrium what is market equilibrium so market equilibrium is basically where demand is equal to supply right so a point where demand is exactly equals to supply at that point the price is the equilibrium price and the quantity is the equilibrium quantity that is there is no excess demand or excess supply right now this is explained uh by valuation and marshallian process talking about the stability stability means if there is disturbance in this equilibrium like there is either excess supply or excess uh demand then uh the market needs to come back to the equilibrium if it is able to come back to the equilibrium no matter what the deviation in the market is then we say that the equilibrium is stable but if once the equilibrium is disturbed and it cannot be restored then we say that the equilibrium is unstable so let us start uh, the process of valuation as well as marshallian uh, stability equilibrium stability okay so to begin with let's talk about marshall uh, valuation process um let us draw our demand curve as well as supply curve to understand it this is quantity this is price this is our demand curve and this is our supply curve right now uh, equilibrium is the point where demand is equal to supply that means let's say this is the point of equilibrium e so q star is our equilibrium quantity and p star is our equilibrium price so what is equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity equilibrium price is the price at which uh quantity demanded is exactly equals to quantity supplied and q star is the uh equilibrium quantity where, where quantity demanded is exactly equals to quantity supplied means at this price and quantity uh demand in the market is exactly equals to supply of the market that is there is no excess supply and no excess demand now what happens if there is any disturbance that means the price is disturbed so we are talking about valuation stability right so valuation talks about movement in price to fix the equilibrium so number 1 about the valuation uh, stability is the point that price adjustment price adjustment to restore equilibrium in the market okay so how is it done right so in order to understand this suppose that the price level is disturbed the equilibrium price level is disturbed and new price level is now p1 which is more than the equilibrium price level so what happens at this price so at this new price uh, since the price has increased so obviously the demand is now less than q star say it is at q1 and since the price has increased the supply must have increased and as from the figure it is clear that now the supply is q2 which is more than q star so now the demand is here and the supply is here so let us say this is fg so that means this gap fg where demand is less than supply means condition of excess supply so how can i fix the situation that is bring back the equilibrium if i am able to bring back equilibrium that is i am able to bring back the market at point e where there is no excess supply and demand is exactly equals to supply uh, demand is exactly equals to supply that means equilibrium is restored and the equilibrium is stable so can i do it yes of course i can do it if there is excess supply that means i need to uh, be able to clear the market right So how am I able to clear the market? Number one, increase the demand. Number two, uh, or whatever is the supply, do not produce more, right? So in that case, what can I do? I can slowly try to reduce the price, right? 
so the price will start to decrease from p1 slowly 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 and stop uh as it reaches p stars as a result due to this adjustment due to this movement what will happen the demand will move from point e to slowly towards point e you can see that the demand will be increasing from q1 to q star and it will stop here right because as i will stop at p star here the demand will is at q star similarly the supply will also move from point g to e as a result the supply will go to reduce to q star and at this point demand from q1 to q star demand will increase and from q2 to q star supply will decrease as a result point e will be gained where there is no extra supply and equilibrium will be restored so as this is the way of restoring the equilibrium and since i am coming back to the equilibrium no matter where i am deviating so this means that the equilibrium is stable so this is the case of price rise let us see what will happen if there is price fall right say the price now decreases okay the price has now decreased from p star to say p2 okay so the here is the price now at this price here is the supply say q3 and at this price here is the demand say q4 okay let us say this is h and this is i now what is the case when the price is decreasing people will want to buy more so the demand obviously increases from point e to g but the supply decreases from point e to i so there is a condition of more demand and less supply so this is our condition of excess demand right so how can i restore this if i slowly increase the price and keep it and keep increasing it until it reaches p star what will happen due to the gradual rise in price the supply will start to increase from point i to e and that is supply will reach q star and similarly due to the increase in price demand in the market will also reduce from h to e and the demand will reach point e such that supply and demand both will be at point e and the market will clear and the equilibrium will be restored again so whether there is a uh, price increase or price decrease if by price adjustments the market is able to regain its equilibrium then we call it the stability equilibrium so this is the valuation process of stability why because here the price is adjusting to uh, bring and restored the equilibrium in the market now if i talk about marshallian then it is just the opposite that is the adjustment is in the quantity demanded and quantity supplied accordingly the price will come back to the equilibrium and the equilibrium will be restored so to understand this let us try to understand the marshallian way of explaining stability let us again draw our market demand curve and demand and the supply curve this is quantity this is the price now we have our demand curve this is d and this is s again the equilibrium is at point say e and the quantity is at point q star and the price is at p star so p star and q star are the equilibrium price and quantity at which uh excess demand excess supply is zero that is market completely clears and the equilibrium point now here what i'm going to see is according to the marshall stability there is output or let's say quantity adjustment okay that means quantity will be increased or decreased uh so as a result the equilibrium should be back so that is if the quantity is at somewhere here see if this is the point of quantity let's say q2 that means at this point price is no more in equilibrium right now in this scenario when the quantity is not in equilibrium how can i bring the equilibrium back that is reduce the production and bring back to the point uh, equilibrium point similarly if there is less demand than quantity 
then increase it and increase the supply and bring it back to you. So adjust the quantity production in the market, whether we're reducing the supply or increasing the supply, such that Q star will be uh, regained. As a result, P star will also be obtained. So at the this is the Marshallian approach of stability. Now going back to the Walrasian stability. So there is this condition that is excess demand should decrease with increase in price. This is the condition for stability that is DED by DP is less than zero. That means as the price in the economy or in the market increases, excess demand in the market will uh, increase and if the price in the economy uh, increases, the excess demand in the economy will decrease and the equilibrium will be restored. So this is the condition in one word, in one line, this is the condition for Walrasian stability. What I have just told you is that when I'm at P2, that is uh, below P star, that means uh, IH is excess demand. So as the price gradually increases from P2 to Q, P star, so the price is increasing, right? The price is 